Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to use our DMX follower actor, um, which uh, essentially is a tool that allows you to take um, a moving head fixture and have it actually follow a single point as it moves in the scene. So this could be useful if you have anything, say, on stage or um, anything that's moving in your scene that you want a... Uh, um, you want your moving heads to follow the position of and um, light up. So let me just show you how this can work. Um, so first of all, what I'm going to do is go into our follower uh, folder, and then we have a BPDMX follow actor. We're going to drag that out um, and put it in the scene. And um, if you notice here, uh, we have a number of options. So we have our refresh rate in seconds. We have an output category, which this indicates whether you want it to output pan and output tilt, or only output pan, or only output tilt. Um, and then I'll get to these more general settings uh, in a second. So first though, we need to grab a moving head uh, blueprint and put it into the scene. So I'm gonna just grab the generic moving head blueprints, throw it in there. All right, <clears throat> so make sure that this is all configured to, um, to your fixture patch and make sure that you have a an actual fixture patch and library assigned. So I'm gonna do that here. Um, and next, let's let's go back and take a look here. So uh, since we're dealing primarily here with just pan and tilt, we wanna make sure that we remember our pan and our tilt function names. So if we click our follow actor here, you'll see we have a, um, an option for pan function name and tilt function name. And so I'm just gonna make sure that these match whatever the, uh, the fixture is that I wanna to, to use. So. Um, so let's see, what we're going to do here is we're going to uh, select this object um, to indicate that we want it to follow our actor. So first of all, um, in our fixture patch here, we can press this plus button, and then I'm going to come to this, uh, this picker here and just select our actor. Cool. Um, so that should actually be all the setup that we need in order for it to uh, start following. Um, but in order to make this more interesting and actually show you what's what's happening, I'm going to create a level sequence. Um, and let's just do this, our test level sequence. All right. And I'm going to add our uh, follow actor as one of the tracks. And add transform. And I'm just going to, you know, just... I don't really care uh, how, how accurate this is, but um, we're just gonna put in some keyframes and maybe put it over here and then add a keyframe there. And now you can see, cool, we have our follow actor moving. Um, so let's make sure that this sequence actually plays when we play the, uh, uh, play the level. And let's also make it loop indefinitely just so you can get a better idea of what's going on. Um, and we can talk about it. So. If I press play here now, you'll see, actually, we have our follow actor moving over there, but then at the same time, we have our fixture that's following it. And the cool thing here is that it's not just, you know, setting the rotation um, just directly. What we're doing is actually calculating where it needs to look at and then sending the proper DMX channels to make sure that happens. So if I... Uh, pull this over, you can see what's actually happening is we have our channels actually updating at the same um, at the same time to make sure that the tilt and the pan uh, point this point the head towards the the object um, towards the follow actor. So it's it's really cool. And you can actually see here that we're kind of um, we have an interval in which we're receiving and that's because if we select our follow actor, um, we have a refresh rate in seconds. So we can actually reduce that or increase that as we wish. So I'll just show you here. If I select this, I can even set this, you know, 0 0.5. And if I press play now, now you can see it's actually a little, a little more uh, um, staggered. And you can see it as it updates here. Um, additionally, you know, we can bring it down so if it's uh, you know not fast enough for us, we can make it 0 0.01, and then it should update faster. There we go. Cool. 
Um, so one last thing to note here is if you would like to do multiple, have multiple actors follow it, you can do that as well. You can do that via, here, let's just, uh, via the same method we did through the picker. So let's do like a couple of these guys here. Um, and if I select this one, I can then add two more and we'll pick this guy and then we'll pick this one here. And now if we play, Cool, look at that, we got all three of them following as well. Um, additionally though, if you would like, you can also use a tag method. So um, here we have a use tag checkbox. And so if I check that, and then I type in the tag of the actors I want to, uh, it to follow, we can also do that. So if I came in here and I set up a tag, uh, whoops, let's try it again. So if we set up a tag here of, let's just say like um, MV for or MH, our moving head. And then uh, come in here and actually do that with these guys as well. Cool. Um, and then if we go back to our follow actor and we remove all of these guys, use tag and do MH, this should also work. So let's try that. Cool, perfect. So yeah, you can see how this could be pretty valuable, pretty useful. Um, so that's it for this tool and uh, yeah, see you in the next one.